In this tutorial, we will set the preset value, start and stop a batch, and change the preset value again on the F and D series batch controllers. The preset is the value that represents the to be delivered or batched quantity. All F series and D series batch controllers have the same easy steps to enter a preset value, start and stop a batch. All our batch controllers have digital or relay outputs to control a valve or pump during the batch process. Let's take a look at how this works. Press the PROG button once to enter the preset value. Press the STOP button to navigate to the next digit in line. Press the START button to alter the blinking digit. Press the PROG button to save the new value and return to the main screen. A batch can be started by pressing the start button. The run flag will pop up. The control output opens the valve or starts the pump, which begins the delivery. Once the batch is completed, the ready flag will pop up. The control output closes the valve or stops the pump, which ends the delivery. A new batch with the same quantity is easily done by pressing the start button again the Run flag will pop up. Press the Stop button once to pause a batch. The Pause flag will start flashing. The control output closes the valve or stops the pump. When you press the Start button again, the batch will resume. The Run flag will pop up again. When you press the Stop button twice, the batch is cancelled. The Ready flag will pop up. The control output closes the valve or stops the pump, which ends the delivery. You can view the total and accumulated total by pressing the STOP button again. Press the STOP button again to return to the main screen. If a different batch size and a different preset value is required, simply follow these steps again. Press the PROG button once to change the preset value. Press the STOP button to navigate to the next digit in line. Press the START button to alter the blinking digit. Press the PROG button to save the new preset value and return to the main screen. Please note that a self-learning overrun correction can be enabled for often repeating batches. This correction influences the control output timing. Disable the correction or set the time to a short period when your batch size changes frequently. For two-stage batch controllers, a pre-close value can be set to switch off a second control output before the end of the batch. All F-series and D-series have the same intuitive operation and menu structure. When you know one, you know them all. Fluidwell understands. Your success counts.